king name of the king has been soiled. This so-called king girl has taken up my name without even asking me. And she's damaging my reputation. Who is this so-called king girl, you ask? Her name is Hattie Turner, my ex-girlfriend. We came together in a time when society shunned us out. We were both outcasts in our own right. I was shunned out by society because everybody thought I was this very dangerous troll. And Heidi was shunned out of society because she was attacked by this dangerous troll. And that's where we found each other. In the desperate times when no one would be able to see us, we managed to see each other. We found a new light, a new purpose. At the first levels in the air, Heidi and I were so connected in sync. It's like our love could never be separated. There was until as time moved, we started to get comfortable, and our relationship started falling apart. It wasn't long until Re Heidi was the one who broke up with me. She ripped my heart out, and I could never forgive her for that. But then, she did one better. Not only did she break up with me, as soon as she lost weight, she became Coon Girl. She said she'll make a better Coon than I was, a better hero. Because I think it's bullshit that this traitor ass bitch decided to just saw the good name the Coon is my idea <clears throat> She's destroying the good name the Coon thinks that she's a better hero than I am Society does not recognize me as a result I need to save the Coon's reputation before it is completely lost and Honey Turner destroys it completely Get, get off my car you little pecker Legend tells of a prankster causing himself the Shadow Troll who's been around long enough just as I have that works in mysterious ways that he's only seen in the shadows. No one knows who he or she is. At first, people suspected that I was the Shadow Troll until that one time, just for a glimmer of a second, people saw me right next to the Shadow Troll himself and I was cleared of wrongdoing and left me curious, who is the Shadow Troll? The Shadow Troll is one of my second favorite heroes Right next to the, my first, Tom Brady. I have to find him. Or her. The Shadow Troll is the only key to defeating the Coon Girl and restoring my reputation. And later on, restoring my reputation with the Freedom Pals after what Mitch Connor did, fucking me over. Heidi Turner ripped my heart apart when she broke up with me. Now it's my turn to rip hers. Alright guys, how you going? I'm your new student teacher. I'm Liam Kirkston, mate. And uh, I'll be taking care of the majority of most of your classes. Now today, the school admin wanted me to teach you about something about, I don't know, drug awareness or something. Basically, how you shouldn't do drugs. For this lesson, mate, um, I've decided to bring in something from my little home of Australia. It's not exactly little. Australia is a big place, mate. Don't forget it. Uh, a mate of mine called Sassy. I uh, pulled a favor from him, and he let me expand his business from Brown Town, which is a little town right next to Sydney. And um, it, this business he runs is called Sassy's Foods. Now, you're probably wondering, Liam, why is Sassy's Foods related to, to drugs? And I'll tell you in a minute. So, this is how I'm going to raise the drug awareness, because I don't want just to want to tell you about drugs. I want to show you and how they're bad for you. So, for the first thing... I'm going to call a volunteer into the stage, and a teacher volunteer. So, uh, thank you for coming, Mr. Mackey. Thanks for having me, Liam. So, um, Mr. Mackey, are you hungry? Um, Liam, I don't understand how me being hungry has to do anything with... Just, just, just answer the question. Okay, yeah, I am a little Turkish. Hey, I got something for you, mate. Hang on a minute. There you go, mate. Fill yourself right up. Oh, thank you. Mmm. 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 Okay, this is actually good. Mmm. Mmm. That's right. Eat it right down, mate. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. This is actually good stuff. Wow, you finished the whole thing? Yeah. 
What is this called, by the way? It's called a tripper snipper. Why is it called a tripper snipper? Because it trips you the fuck out. What's inside this burrito? Oh, you know, the yeesh. Um, speed, weed, heroin, cocaine, mushrooms, pino clean, petrol, battery acid, acid, Sylvia, meth, some herbs and spices, some lettuce and tomato, vodka sauce, bam, and the dirt is gone, Ajax spray and wipe, some chicken and cheese, all wrapped in a tortilla. Yeah, you're starting to feel the sassy's foods mojo, Mackey. You're the biggest fucking drago. Okay, class, I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> Mackey? You feeling alright, mate? As you can see with Mr. Mackey's condition, he's feeling the effects of almost every single drug conceivable. And... This is what happens when you get hopped off on drugs. Don't do drugs. Don't do what Mr. Mackey did. <laughs> Dude! What? So, let's talk about methamphetamine. The first thing about drugs, like one of the ingredients in the tripocinder. The, the chemical effect of methamphetamine can have negative results on your physiology. For example... Ah, uh, hey, Mr. Mackey. Welcome back to the land of the living. Good afternoon, sleeping head. Uh, 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 afternoon? Uh, it's Monday, Liam, and I had some important paperwork to do, okay? It's actually Thursday. I was out for four days. Nah, you were out for 11 days, you fucking drug addict. You look hungry, mate. I'll cook you up a feed. Dude! What? How the hell are they back together? So close, yet so far. I've exhausted every single lead. Ranging from Sheepa Town, SPPD, Freeman's Tacos, the Bibberberry Farm, everywhere. Even D-Mobile. But there's one piece of evidence that keeps eluding my gaze, and I can't seem to put my finger on it. And that's because there's a good chance that the Turners may be involved. Heidi's family. Because, strange enough as it is, the Shadow Troll disappeared the same night after that Heidi's mom got trolled on the internet, on the school message board, and the day after when Heidi quit Twitter completely. Which I have to assume that one of Heidi's parents, or even a relative of the Turners, just even if one of Heidi's family members could be the Shadow Troll himself or herself. This is going to be a pretty difficult task. If one of the Turners is actually a fact the Shadow Troll himself, then I hope to God that this Turner is one of Heidi's annoying siblings that doesn't like her very much. If not, well, I might have to pull a fix few tricks or two to make it that way. Either way, the Turner family is the only lead I have to tracking down the Shadow Troll. Which means that's one thing. I have to confront the Coon Girl early. I wasn't planning to. I was hoping to get to the Shadow Troll, then troll her. But, looks like I have to get to her to get to the Shadow Troll, then get to her. Strange math. But, seems I don't have a choice in this point. What the fuck? Now you watch out for those cars next time, okay? Get home safe. Thank you. Can get... She saved a ginger? Uh, that's fucking it. Hit it right there, you keen wannabe. You saw the good name of the coon long enough. Go away, Eric. I'm working here. At the expense of the reputation of the coon? What the heck? You just saved the ginger. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? Uh, what? What is it? Oh, oh shit! Call your boyfriend and call okay, human kite the and the rest of the fucking pals. I'm gonna go down and buy some popcorn and some ginger. drinks. This shit's gonna get lit. Your stupid rules. The reason I became cool girl is just to get back at you, you asshole. Uh, oh fuck you! Fuck you! In fact, you right back at you. The king is my idea. You didn't ask me. I don't care. I'm doing this whole superior thing better than you did, 
and people are recognizing me more better than everyone else. Oh, look, it's Coon Girl. But when they look at you, they just see some fat boy in a raccoon suit. Mm. Oh, fuck you, you dumbass bitch. Ah, oh, dude, it's about oh, to go fuck down. You, fat ass. Yeah, oh, best you in right the fucking back, house. Dumbass, whore. Thanks for shouting us oh, the fuck food, you by the way. That, stupid yeah, asshole. no problem. This is gonna Deck be great. times infinity. Anyway, I don't have fucking time for this. Heidi, I know someone in your family is the fucking Shadow Troll. What? I know someone in your family is the fucking Shadow Troll. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Heidi. Give me the Shadow Troll or I'll shred you. Not if I shred you first, you fat ass. Oh, it's going down? It's going down. I broke up with you, but I didn't finish the job. Now I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, yeah, let's go, bitch. Yeah, let's go. Two keens walk in, one walk out. And it's the original and not the carbon copy. We'll see about that, fatso. I'm making a better coon than you ever did. Not if I can help it. Dude, this fight's awesome. Okay, guys, time to take bets. Who do you think's going to win? Cartman or Heidi? I don't know, dude. I think, I think Heidi's going to win this one. <laughs> yeah, me too, dude. I think Heidi's going to pull through. Oh, so everyone's hiding here, huh? What happened to the loyalty? Dude, Carmen's an asshole. Fair enough. God, they're really going at it. I mean, this is the battle of the century. Nobody wants to miss out on this shit, hey? Yeah, dude. Who would want to miss out on this? This is awesome. Yeah, the real action's down there, not up here. This is just the old Sita. This is awesome. Oh, look at all the action. Oh, there's so much action. Oh, look at that action. Oh, you, that noise. You, that noise. Hey Liam, why don't we say we stop being a cock tease and actually point the cameras at the fight? Eh, yeah, fucking why not? Might as well, eh? Fair is fair. Heidi? I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to. Yeah, let me look. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to go too rough. I... What the fuck? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> oh, dude. She's sucking him in. That's cold. Nice. Say goodnight, Eric. You're the biggest mistake I've ever made. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, are you the same ginger kid that Heidi saved earlier? Uh. Um, what just happened? Where? Defect? Well, well, well. Look who's finally awake. Tenement? Are you fucking serious? This shit again? Yep. Did you miss me? Uh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Could you untie me and like, fuck off, Tenement? Because I'm trying to deal with some girl issues here. I know, I know, I heard. That's why I'm here, Eric. I'm your brother. And I thought as your brother, I'd help you with your ex. You see, I've changed a lot since the last time you saw me. Both mentally... And... Physically, I've been staying off the radar ever since I'm an enemy of the town, thanks to you, and also hunted by the super best friends. I've been traveling the world, trying to find my inner peace, going to monasteries, seeing psychological therapists to help me out of my madness. All to have a clear mind and inner peace, so I can bring justice to this sick town. And most of all, my revenge on you. Little brother. If you've been seeing all these people, don't you think they would have told you that revenge is a bad idea? That's why I specifically left that part out when I consulted them. That makes sense. I'd probably do the same in his position. I gotta say, new look or not, you're still a dirty ginger. I feel like someone wasn't being original enough and just rebooted some of my old enemies just to fill in the main villain gap. 
give him a new look, a story of how they traveled the world for some stupid story of self-discovery, only to come back and repeat the same revenge shit all over again. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Yep. Really? <sighs> anyway, Eric, I intend to destroy this town after not supporting me after my parents' death. But first, you. This is how it goes. Heidi, is it true that you actually showed your vagina to Eric? Yes. Wait, no, I didn't mean to say that! What the hell? And Eric, have you peed the bed recently? No, not recently compared to all the other times. Uh, uh, wait, what the fuck? Why did I just say that? While you guys were out unconscious, I took the liberty of injecting truth serum into both of you. The stuff wasn't easy to acquire. A lot of black market shit to deal with. But now you guys will tell me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Ah, uh, dude, that's so fucking bad. What? What are you talking about? Really? You're just gonna use truth serum on us to interrogate us? That's like every single douchebag movie ever. Oh, but you misunderstand. I don't intend to interrogate you guys with truth serum. Since you two broke up, I intend to put you two back together, then break you up all over again. What? what? I intend to break your heart and shatter you physically and emotionally. Then when it's all said and done, where you are too broken and South Park is ashes, then you'll have my permission to die. Batman reference. Hey, let's start, shall we? Heidi, what were your thoughts of Eric before you went out with him? Ah, uh, where do I begin? I was like every other girl. Go to school, go to the mall, make lists, slumber parties. But over time, it, I actually got bored of it, and I wanted to find a new purpose and a new excitement in life. And then I see this fat kid. Big bound. Fat. Anyway... He was a bigot, a racist, a sexist, and a sociopath, and a total asshole. But that's what life made him. With having no dad and a slut of a mom, that's just him trying to cope in life, and he gets the thrills out of it. And I may not have it rough, but I learned that doing the same shit over and over again will drive you mad. I didn't know why Cartman benefited from, from all the suffering from others, until I decided to pull a prank of my own when I faked my death at one time and locked my parents away without them noticing and got myself adapted into another family and changed my name. And I got myself into Cartman's little cult. Oh uh, yeah, I always wondered what it was that all about. But it wasn't enough. I started to enjoy it, pranking and trolling people a little too much. I needed a way to contain it and to do all the asshole things I wanted to do. But at the same time, I didn't want to lose my friends and family. And to do so... I'm gonna stop you right there. Eric, I heard you've been looking for the Shadow Troll. Yeah, to stop Heidi from being Coon Girl and damage the kid's reputation. That's why I needed he or she's help. Normally, I wouldn't need a help from another prankster like me, but I feel like my emotions would get in the way with the mission of pranking Heidi, so that's why I needed the help of another prankster. Oh, you still have feelings for her. How sweet. Yeah, but even while you still had feelings for me, you didn't need help before when you threw me to an evil witch or turned me fat. That's because I've been thinking a lot about you lately and what I did. The breakup hurt me more than what I was planning to, but it started to make me think of how much that I wasn't good to you, that I was an asshole and I wasn't a good boyfriend. Really? Because in my opinion, I think she deserves it. What the fuck? What? Hey, fuck you! What do you mean? Heidi, who do you think the Shadow Troll is? Me. I'm the Shadow Troll. Wait, no! True serum. No take backs. Damn it! <sighs> it's true. I'm the Shadow Troll. The fuck? By day, I was sweet little Heidi Turner, but at night, I was the Shadow Troll. It was the only way of how I can control my negative urges. It was fun watching the look on those people's faces until I became a victim of trolling of my own. Oh, this is good. You didn't need to turn into another Cartman to become an asshole. Cause you're already an asshole!
Hey, screw you! I don't have ten bucks. Dude! What? She's like, what, nine or ten or something? You're like 17 or 18, Tinnaman. What the feck? Pedo alert. A few moments later. And then... I, 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 I didn't know how to handle a serious relationship. I, I've never been in one before. I pretended to know so I didn't look like a dork. The stress of her always wanting to be around me was too much when I wanted to go back to being the old Eric. And I wanted for her to stop, but at the same time, I didn't want to lose her. The emotions were really confusing. When we were together, I wanted to break up, but when at the same time, when we were about to break up, I didn't want to lose her. It was really confusing how I wanted to cope with it. In truth, I don't know how to deal with Heidi. And I wasn't counting on her turning into another me that was out of the blue. And then I see her going around as Keen Girl. And I just wanted to step because it brings back these confusing emotions. But at the same time, I think Heidi B. Cool Girl is Keen. Wow, I can see what Wendy means by boys are kind of cute for when they cry. Oh my god. It doesn't matter if Cartman sees himself as the victim. It's just that's how life made him. And I'm no different when it comes to being an asshole. Because I'm out here taking the whole coon thing from you and... Oh, Eric. I think we both screwed up. We're just as bad as each other. You being you and me being the Shadow Troll. Oh my god. So, Miss Turner, do you love Eric again? I would be lying if I said no right now because, yeah. Eric? <laughs> yes, Heidi. Heidi? Eric. Oh, how sweet. So that's phase two out of the way. Time for phase three, breaking you up. Oh yeah? How? We're pretty solid now, dude. Because if we you break us up before, we're not now. You just gave me back my girlfriend, dude. How is that a victory over me? How are you gonna break us up? Oh, that's how. He's got a fucking gun. Eric! Look into her eyes, Eric. Look into her fucking eyes. This is the reason I put you two back together. So I can break your heart, Eric. Far worse than you broke me when I lost my parents. I want you to spend every last moment you have thinking about how much you couldn't save her more than how you couldn't save yourself. Tell her goodbye, brother. Eric! No! Get in there, you son of a bitch. <laughs> At least you won't live to relish in your victory. What are you talking about? I've hidden a snook somewhere in town. You won't find it in time. If I go down, then I take you all with me. Are you fucking serious? Where's the snook? I want you to spend every last moment you have thinking how much you couldn't save her more than you couldn't save yourself. What? Something Tenement said. But what did he mean by... Wait. Wait, what are you doing? Shh. Oh shit, I definitely hear beeping. It's in your ass. Dude, you stick a snoop at my ass? What the fuck? Gingers had this, a snoop program, but the disarm function is gone. I guess they did that deliberately. But I managed to reactivate the trigger that sets off when you go to do crap, but it's still on a timer. 
second tenement sticking bombs on my ass. How much time do we get? I managed to set the time back to 15 minutes. That was five minutes ago. We're pulling up now. Did you beat all the betrayers we got from Freeman Stargo's page? Just finished the last one, and the vibrations from the car is really shaking up my bear something fierce. So I should be able to... Wait, did you just call me big? Um, I don't know. Uh, we're coming up now. Okay, I googled the Snook's blast radius and it says 40 kilometers because it's smaller than normal nukes. So its blast radius is extremely less, but I put us at least 70 kilometers instead, just in case of fallout. Okay, gonna need some privacy, Hattie. I'm gonna crap like I've never crapped before! A few moments later... Okay, it's out. It's out. Drive, 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 drive. We're not gonna make it! We're not gonna make it! Dude, best crap I've ever taken. But this all seems anticlimactic. I mean, hold that thought. No, it's the girl, tenement. You're the disease. But we're the king. <laughs> I love what you say, we're the king, say the king. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get this piece of shit. Ah! Well, the town is saved again. Thanks to you, coon girl. I didn't do it alone. I had the coon to help me. That's his name? I thought it was Bruce Blanche. Dude, seriously? I'm getting sick and tired of people treating me as an afterthought and calling me not the king. Well, consider me corrected. Thanks again, Coon. This is an over. Coon and Coon Girl. The demons of the past will always catch up to you. <sighs> Fucking Danny. So, Hattie? Can we, uh. Can we talk? So, um, uh, I'm sorry things didn't work out between us. Me too. I guess we now both of us screwed it up. That's what I'm saying. So, if you're interested in giving another shot, I mean, I got nothing against you being king girl now. I mean, in fairness, I mean, you now both of us screwed up in a relationship and you know, me being me and you being the Shadow Troll, I mean, I, I guess we're just as worse as each other, so uh, th that being said, I think we can find common ground and build a better relationship from that. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, I'm trying to toot, you know, both of our horns. What's inside this burrito?
Oh, you know, the huge um, speed, weed, heroin, cocaine, mushrooms, pinoclean, petrol, battery acid, acid, sylvia, meth, some herbs and spices, and some lettuce and tomato, vodka sauce, bam, and the dirt is gone, Ajax spray and wipe, some chicken and cheese, all wrapped in a tortilla.